Now, here is how to change weather on the Apple Watch. And I'm gonna take this question from multiple approaches, so you'll definitely find your answer. First of all, if you'd like to change the city that you're taking a look at, whenever you just check out your weather, you open up the weather app, well, in the list of all of the weather locations, you're gonna be able to find some cities that you added. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, there is the add city button. So you can type in whatever you want and it, it should find the address somewhere from the list. You can see it's Berlin and I can add Berlin here. So you can of course open up any city and check out the weather there. Of course, you can check out all of the information here and it's gonna tell you the temperature, air pollution and all other things. But if you just scroll all the way to the top, here you can tap the viewing button. So this viewing thing actually makes you choose between temperature conditions and the precipitation. So you can choose whatever you wanna see on the screen. And this is how you can also change the view. However, if you'd like to change the complication or the way the view is presented on your watch face, that means that you can see, for example, on this infograph watch face, you can see 80 degrees in the upper right corner. And as you could saw, I have multiple cities set up for my weather. So what exactly is this 80 degrees for or what's really happening here? So as you can see, it's gonna tell me that it is my current location, which is fine. Sometimes and a lot of times you wanna know your current location and have it displayed on your watch face. So you can see eight degrees here. However, if you would like to change the city that shows up across all of your Apple Watch complications and watch faces, for this, you're gonna have to bring out your iPhone and navigate to the watch app. So let me just show it to you right here. So this is my iPhone, which is of course paired to the Apple Watch. And make sure that you are here in uh, the Watch app and find uh, the Weather app here. So you can see Weather. And uh, there is one important metric and it's called the default city. So as you can see, 80 degrees here is for my default city, which is my current location. And I can change it to something else from all of the options that I added from all of the cities. So it can be Los Angeles and you can see it changes from eight degrees to 11 degrees because this is now my main or default city. You can see it's 11 in Los Angeles. If I tap on New York, it's five degrees. You can see five degrees in New York. So it's really important to keep that in mind. And if this one is also a weather complication, it also applies to air quality in New York because New York is our city. If I chose, for example, like Berlin, it has no data or it has like limited, depending on where you click. You can see all the cities here. You can see Vienna, it cannot find anything for some reason, but it changes to eight degrees. So this is how I can set it up. Anyways, it also depends on the type of watch face that you use, because there are different ones, of course. This one offers you four different types of complications. So if you hold down on it, tap on edit, you can choose, if you swipe here, that this, uh, these four corners can be occupied by some different activities and uh, there are like three things here in the middle so you can choose whatever you want but for the corner you can tap on it and you can see there is the weather section it's not like one type it's the weather section so it's air quality index for me it can be conditions rain and you can even tap more and here are all the types for uh, the weather complication and exactly for uh, this type for this curved corner type. So you can see it can be UV index and wind. That was one type, but you can see you have like this thing here. So the like the circle type, if you tap on this one and locate the weather here, it also has different types of weather complications. So it's the same thing, pretty much the same information, but in different shape in a circle instead. You can see air quality index in a circle, conditions, rain, temperature, UV index, and wind, but they are in the circle, like I said. So this is how you can choose the weather and change it on your watch. And one more way to change the weather is to go to the app store and like download a third party weather app. And there are some of them available for free, but most of them have some subscription or some in-app purchases that make it a little bit harder for you because of course uh, the uh, 
uh, Apple weather is for free, so you don't need to worry about that. But uh, yeah, it's it's kind of a different story for uh, some third-party apps. So let me just show it to you and type in weather. So you can see the first weather app is the one that is default. So let me go to weather. It's going to be yeah the built-in one, so you can open it. And you also have some third-party ones. You can get many of them, AccuWeather. I mean, weather channel, I mean, it's going to be the same source that Apple gets the information from. So uh, do what you want to do with it. But yeah, you have some other options as well. And those options may also support and give you option to add some complications. So there are definitely more possibilities with this and do whatever you want. If you are interested on why I still wear the Apple Watch upside down, make sure to check out this video right here and you're going to find out the answer in that video.